We've got 48 sieves on a massive Earth map. We've done this on a smaller Earth map. This one's going to be huge, and the Western Hemisphere is going to be a little crazier with the Mayans and Grand Columbia. It's going to change things a lot in the New World. By the way, this video was sponsored by 2K and Firaxis. The Civilization VI New Frontier Pass is now available for $39.99. It's comprised of six DLCs, purchasable individually, or you can buy all with just this pass. First DLC was obviously the Mayan and Grand Columbia pack, as well as that new Apocalypse game mode, new city-states, natural wonders, and resources. And if you do purchase that New Frontier Pass, you're going to get a Persona pack, which is going to be a new take on Teddy Roosevelt, and Catherine de Medici. And that's going to be out with the second DLC coming out in July. But of course, Fraxis is also going to be releasing free updates in between each DLC, which is going to include new maps, scenarios, balances, and more. So this is the key. We've got a massive Pacific Ocean. Japan is no longer like right next to North America. So there is going to be some distance now between the East Asian civs and North America. I kind of feel bad for the new Mayan nation because they're jam-packed in Central America. Like, not only are they right next to the scary Aztecs, but they gotta face Grand Colombia. I think the Colombians will more than likely stay in like the northern part of South America. They've got a lot of room to work with since the Inca are, are kind of pushed down this way. Brazil has to move all the way through the Amazon. So not only do we have all of the civs, but also all the leaders. So I included the extra France and England. Uh, England had to be pushed off to Ireland because there's not a lot of space to work with here. And whenever we do a civilization battle on a giant earth map, Australia always has to be a favorite. They've got this huge continent all to themselves. And I think this continent is bigger than ever before. They just have to worry about the Indonesians and of course the Maui who still have to make a choice out here. I'm personally hoping they go to like North America at some point, but it's unlikely because you got to think the AI doesn't see the world map. They're seeing like all of the fog of war. So I don't know which direction they're going to choose to go. By the way, this is with the new apocalypse mode, which means there's going to be more natural disasters than ever and new natural disasters. I really like the forest fires that pop up because sometimes they just like don't ever stop and they consume an entire like huge subcontinent. I feel like some civs could definitely use that as their advantage. I'm looking at you, Russia. Maybe intentionally just like start burning stuff running away. That's that's the strategy. That's the strategy. This is always going to be one of the worst parts of the map to be in because we've got two Greeces, Macedon, and the Ottomans all right next to each other. I don't really know. I think this Greece is probably not going to last long. Then there's good old sweet home Georgia. Georgia is in between all of these volcanoes and on apocalypse mode. I'm pretty sure like all of them are gonna erupt like it's gonna be a disaster and they're gonna erupt multiple times so big earth map all the civs all the leaders including the two new ones and a ton of natural disasters this is gonna be chaotic the maui are gonna be going to new zealand i guess it looks like they're gonna be landing on the northern ireland soon northern island did i say that right and there's belize city so i feel so bad for them oh they also have to deal with a lot of volcanoes themselves turn like four and we already have a hurricane oh, okay it went away ouch okay so uh immediately out of these three civs we've got this england doing particularly good because they got their second settlement down. Scotland could probably fit one more. And actually, yeah, they can easily get access to Iceland. So I think they're going to be okay. There is no way for them to reach the new world yet. They're going to have to discover deep sea sailing. So uh, that is... Well, wait, yes, there is. Oh, yeah, they can totally still do it. But that would be an adventure. And I don't know if the AI is willing to do that. We're already seeing some problems with revolts, possibly some cultural swaps might happen again this is not a fun part of the map to be in russia already expanding taking all these extra tiles because russia's gonna russia gonna grab up everything i feel like not only australia but also the zulu have very good chances because they're all by themselves in all of like south africa they can grab up a lot of stuff and then we know pretty aggressive they like to kill a lot of people the battle for india is going to begin probably pretty soon because they're only three tiles away from each other like that is not enough space boys that's the other thing about the giant map is there's all of central asia that can possibly be uh utilized now there used to not be in the smaller ones so i don't know mongolia russia scythia they've all got pretty good chances it looks like the dutch might have taken something from Germany already uh well Germany's not looking good at all and Hungary wow okay so we're gonna start to see some cities swap hands like right away wait a second that's not supposed to be happening to you guys you're like the good England at that you're supposed to be like holding on not having cities revolt that's the thing about Europe there's so many like civil wars at the very start nice little tornado just right here on Gibraltar that's cool making sure no one leaves Indonesia always has a little bit of trouble they're gonna have to sit here with a settler for a while I think until they start figuring out how to you know how like boats work and stuff I don't know how boats work. Scotland with the reverse card. Also, Germany's dead. Germany just died right in front of us. Now, can Poland pick up this revolted city? This revolting city? Uh, or will the Dutch take it too? I don't know. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Is this going to be enough, Scotland? Imagine if they take London. They're safe. They're going to have a really good game. Like That's confirmed if they do that. This England, on the other hand, though, pretty screwed. There's really nothing much they can do. Uh, maybe they can make it to North America. That, that's like the one thing they can do. Can't wait for the forest fires. Give me more forest fires. That's not good. Already three Australian cities. So, um, I kind of feel 
bad for the Maui. The Maui will probably survive because, look, there's no, like, you gotta have deep sea to travel, which they do, but no one else does. They out here exploring, though. Oh, are they gonna get their second city? I hope they don't do it there. Maybe just, you know, like, move a little bit further over. That's three tiles, better than one. We've got three Roman cities, and uh, they're looking pretty strong. They might also start colonizing. If anyone's gonna start colonizing North Africa, it's gonna be Spain or Rome. Wow, Georgia. Moving all the way up here, maybe taking something from Sydney. They're gonna- are they gonna take that? No. No, they're gonna be close, but that would've been crazy. Russia's looking good now, since these two are over here distracted. I mean, they're just- they're just chilling. I gotta watch Poland. Look at Poland. Maybe Poland won't be dead by turn 80. Grand Colombia moving on down towards Brazil, so they're just gonna go deep into the Amazon rainforest. Ford settling by Arabia. How could you do that? That's gonna piss off both Egypt and Nubia. Whole lot of cities revolting. It is happening kind of everywhere now. It looks like London is gonna hold on, because I don't think- this is definitely not enough. Scotland, no. Wow, you got lucky, England. France and the Dutch are also at war, too, which, uh, I don't really- Wait a second! What? What happened to France? Something bad happened to France, I think. The other France, not the blue France. Didn't take long for India to just go after each other, which it's too early. It's really hard to take over cities, I think, at this part of the game. Don't do it, Mongolia. Don't do it already. Leave China alone. Maybe Korea can, like, I don't know, get involved somehow. I don't think, just stay out of it, Korea. My favorite city. My favorite city with daddy in it. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. Oh, dang. Look at this capital got taken down by a ton because this volcano erupted. Now it's attack. Attack, Mayans, attack. Oh, you guys done goofed. And that's probably going to happen all game. Like, eruptions are going to happen all the time on this apocalypse mode. Who lost these two? Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Pretty messy over here. Oh, finally. Yeah. I've never been so happy in my life to see just a random forest fire. Okay, but I don't think that's going to, like, spread too much. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Maui now with three cities. I don't know how good they're going to be, but at least they're expanding. We also got three cities from Canada and America. And uh, I think so far Canada's in kind of trouble because there's not a lot of room for them to work with, especially if, like, Washington continues to do his own Louisiana purchase. Oh! London's gone. London's gone, and it wasn't because they were taken over. And they might even leave, leave lose this city. Uh, leave. It, they're gonna be leaving it, too. They lost this. Oh, France might come. Oh, wait, no. France might get this. I see. I just realized we already lost one Greece and a Macedon. So this game is deadly. We've got a couple civs with four cities, and uh, that's obviously pretty good. They're one of the only nations in the world, and they're right next to each other. And the Dutch, and they're in the mid middle of Europe, but I don't know. Who knows? With all the revolts happening, it's hard to say who's going to keep all this stuff. No! It's gone. It's been put out already. It, in my test runs, it was like running all game because it just kept burning things down. It was like right here. Lasted forever. Why would you do that? Columbia! I don't know why he did that. Like, he's forward settling now more than ever. The Inca and the Brazilians, that's going to piss them off. Rome now picking up and uh, taking advantage of some of these civs that have lost their cities. They've got five. Well, that's scary. Let's hope they don't like start like drinking lead or something. It's the only thing that could take them down. Well, this England is at least gone. This, this is gone. There's still a chance. We still have Irish England, which is weird to say. Viking invasion! Viking invasion! It's happening! I should have known better. I should have known. And they're, lo oh, that's scary. Why are you going to do that, Vikings? Really loving this Poland. I like this. Moving up towards the Baltics and, you know, chilling. Maybe they can get up to Finland maybe one day. And they're even about to take the city away from Gorgos, Greece, I think. There's... Yeah, they're gonna take that. There's five warriors surrounding it. I didn't expect that to happen. I don't know where you guys even came from, but uh, the Dutch just swooped in. Also, the Aztecs with their own, like, forward settling. That's a huge forward settle. Where, where is that? In Kansas? Grabbing Kansas like that? I feel very bad for the Mayans, too. The Mayans... Well, they have enough warriors to defend themselves, maybe, but against eagle warriors that's not fun Ooh, the phoenicians up here now taking out the ottomans it looks like we've lost another sieve i guess forward settling the nile was a bad idea for arabia let's see who gets this little battle between persia and samaria it's all it's all fine it's all good spain is going after paris i don't think they're gonna do it though these warriors don't have enough health left but that was a pretty ballsy move Ooh, so the new england the New England picked up the other England's second city. Maybe they're going to be okay. Spain is determined to stay in their own continent. They're not leaving Iberia yet with that settler moving up this way. I thought they'd go after Morocco sooner than that. Every Civ in North America now has four settlements. Um, the others, three of them out of four, just have them all like packed together. How is Rome retaining six cities like this? I could have swore they were going to lose it. At least these two. No Scandinavian battles just yet, but look at Norway with four cities. They don't care if they're up in the Arctic. Going to chill up there. Sweden's going to need to go after like Finland or something soon, because I think either Russia or Poland will take it before them. Zulu's starting to forward settle the Congo. Kind of scary. Whoa. Oh, that was not the Phoenicians. I thought they were attacking. Nubia. Nubia is now, I think, uh... 
I think they're probably the favorite to win Africa. Rome with another city. Now, I think this was formerly Hungarian or something. We got seven settlements. It's crazy. Dutch doing pretty good too. I forget that the Dutch have also seven. Whoa. Viking invasion. Viking on Viking invasion. I knew it. The Zulu, they couldn't resist. Of course they were gonna do that. They had this city for like a couple turns and then they already decided to attack the Congo. Oh man, Gandhi's not looking so good. Gandhi, the other India's destroying you guys. Looks, it looks like it. Yeah, they're gonna be trapped up here in the Himalayas probably the whole game. Nice big old flood. Okay, still some disasters happening. Indonesia finally is gonna get off their starting island, I think. About time. So here are the faiths that have been discovered. There's six of seven. There still can be one more, I think. Buddhism by Japan. Protestantism from England. Confucianism from Australia. Catholicism in Brazil. Eastern Orthodox in Russia. And Shinto by the Cree. Oh man, I missed this mega colossal eruption that happened that killed five population. That could have been useful for Egypt, if that happened like a little sooner, but nope, they took the city too. Nubia continues to just roll on through. Mongolia, it feels like at least Mongolia's got off to a pretty slow start. You'd think they'd get everything by now. This is a random snowstorm. It's kind of weird because you don't expect like snow to be surrounded by green. Don't do it. Don't do it. Russia, stay away from that. Do not lead anyone into that, Russia. I know you want to. Wow. Okay, Aztecs. You guys... You guys really, you, got, you gotta calm it down. There's no way you don't lose that. How would you keep that? Oh, speaking of someone who forward settled and ended up losing it, Colombia. So they are now gonna struggle. They got two cities. The Zulu were successful in their invasion. Congo might lose something else too. Poland now taking a little revenge, although the Dutch are kind of here to maybe distract. I don't know what the Dutch are doing exactly. Come on, let Poland just get a little revenge. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, Sweden's gone. How did Sweden, oh my goodness. Just like that, that, that was only like, I don't know, 10, 20 turns and Sweden doesn't even exist. All right, don't mess with the Vikings. You weren't familiar with that. Japan looks like they're gonna settle mainland Asia. I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, I don't think it's a good idea. And Scotland has made it to Iceland, just barely, I guess. So maybe they will get to North America, although there's not gonna be much room left. Mapuche got a little piece of this Brazilian, not a little piece, they got all of this Brazilian city, but let's see what happens after. Mayans got their second city. Not exactly where I wanted it. I wanted them to go to Cuba, but okay, that's fine too. The Ottomans have broken up Gorgo's Greece, which means that Poland should have a lot of success taking this like Northern city away from them. Whoa! Who burnt all your stuff down, India? Uh, there's also a battle. Was that the Kamai? Kamai are doing something. That's just a forest fire that expanded. Yeah, look, it started in the Himalayas, and then it slowly have spreaded, spread to their territory. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's like messing with their elephants up. Elephants, you gotta get out of there. Oh, they're dead. They just died in front of our eyes. Really didn't expect to see elephants on fire dying in front of me today, but here we are. Not again, Japan! Not again! Why can't you resist doing this? It's almost every game. In every game, they do this. Maui, why are you... <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Scotland is finding a way to make it work. Five cities in just this really small corner of the map. So the forests do grow back. Oh, there they go. They're growing back. Okay, so it's not going to be burnt down forever. Just for a good amount of time after it, you know, took out Indians, elephant, Indian elephants. But the Maori's decision making here is still pretty crazy. You got Hawaii right there. You could have gone to Hawaii. They probably didn't know better. They couldn't see it. Phoenicians really like this part of the Arabian Peninsula. They're just... Continuing. That's just how they're gonna do. They're gonna control the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea, though. Norway's looking so good right now. Norway can just chill up here for a while. They need to get to Finland, but I like their chances. And Norway's out discovering the New World, I think, because got these long ships out in the Atlantic. Look at this chain that the Aztecs are building. Just straight up north. They're probably building roads, and bam, they might be able to take out the Cree. Oh, no, the Cree are kind of running towards Alaska. They might be safe. That's really their only hope. Another forest fire. This time, it is affecting Poland. And, uh, well, it might be affecting Russia, too. They might lose this heavy chariot. I don't think that one's gonna stop. That might go all the way out into Russia. A wooden catapult versus one forest boy. Okay, it's still, it's still standing, just barely. You guys might want to put that out. We need Smokey the Bear out here. What are the Zulu doing over here next to Cornwall? Egypt's not going to survive much longer. Hey, Congo got their city back. They're doing okay. I think the Zulu might be a little distracted by Nubia now. Scythia is going to kind of cut off Russia if they get all of these mountains. So that might keep them, I don't know, might keep Russia in check a little bit. Especially because Mongolia still hasn't really done anything. And it's going to continue. Yeah, this is going to ravage Russia, which you know what? Russia's fine with this. They're used to that. This is actually going to help Russia in a way. I bet. I bet. I don't know if it's going to help Poland, though. This is not good, but it's, you know, it's leaving Poland. Didn't even realize Georgia had one city left, and they probably won't keep it. Dang, this forest fire is still going, and it's going to just, it really is going to ruin a lot of what Russia has built. All these tiles, they're, they're going to be on fire soon. All of them. Mali is really trying to avoid that Sahara Desert, but I guess everyone is. They're just 
funnier because it's like they're just staying away from it. They still got this river. This river would be okay. Spain has finally made it to Africa. It took them long enough. So Finland is going to be shared in this universe with a Polish Finland, a Polish Southern Finland, and then a Northern Norway Finland. <laughs> is that right? Something like that. Something like that. We got three new cities up for grabs. And that's big because all of these civs that surround it, there's a lot of civs that surround them, uh, they could use it. Actually, the Ottomans could really save their game if they get both of these. Great Russian fire continues to just tear down everything. Ah, it's so bad. It's just spreading now. It's just continuing to spread. What if the shrine's gonna catch on fire? Is this shrine gonna be okay? I'm pretty sure. I don't know how it's getting like avoided right now. I guess he's an orthodox. It's really working for him. So something's working. Higher power. And there's another one. This one doesn't look like it's gonna affect one nation too badly, but the Congo got hit slightly. Oh, this is gonna mess up this whole forest. There's a lot of forest. Wow, it's getting- this is actually worse. This- this might be worse. It just won't be worse for one particular country. So Chicago is settled, but uh, they're having problems, I think, keeping it. I'm not sure if yeah, it's the Aztecs. The Aztecs are just messing with everyone. Hey, Grand Columbia kind of recovered. They've got four cities, and they're holding on to this, barely. Get your units out of there. Get your units out of there. Do not be in the Congo. Who's going to take it? Is it going to be Nubia, Spain, or uh, Mali? Everyone's in a race to take out my, my sweet, my sweet, uh, what am I thinking of? Waifu. I'm sorry. Waifu. Okay, I think this, I think it's finally over. I think Russia has survived for the most part. The fire is actually gonna come back into Poland a little bit. You don't want that. You do not want that if you're Australia. That's the thing, the Maui are like huge thorn in everyone's side pretty much. It was Spain. Spain killed Egypt. So now they're gonna be kind of committed to North Africa. They're probably gonna want to settle Tunisia or something. Is this the same fire? Did this fire somehow get over here? What happened? What the hell is that? What is that? Anyone know what that is? Looks freaky. Is that a new, that's a new thing. That thing looks demonic. They got like masks on. What are they following over here? What is this? Eastern Orthodox? I've never seen that before. For real, it's just, it's just standing in the flames. It's like a demon. Demon spawned from hell. I don't know who's scarier in Europe. Is it Rome or the Dutch? Probably Rome. And the Ottomans have kind of recovered, although they might, I don't know what they're about to lose, but they're gonna lose something. Not the Amazon. Not the Amazon. That's not gonna stop. All right, the Aztecs are taking over North America. I don't think. I feel like they needed to be, they needed to be stopped like way before this. Scotland has now made it to Greenland, so they are making their way slightly over towards North America. There's nothing else really to get unless you want just snow get a snow city if you want and spain is slowly gonna start to connect their two cities i think and i don't know if rome rome doesn't care rome's a little distracted yeah rome is worried about taking out the ottomans mines aren't dead yet but uh it's only only a matter of time so reminder this is only the first dlc there's gonna be even more civs that get released in the future so i might have to come back and continue to fill out this map and make it even more crazy which is kind of scary don't forget about the new frontier pass if you want to check out more information about that. The link is down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months just to name him Drew. Stormtrooper 501. Luxembourg lover. Queen of Europe. Mac. Joe Dover. Jaden Knoll. Rat Smacker 3000. I'm the real 06. Arian After Hours. Pan Qualaps. Duh. Diluki. Riley A. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Sefe. Ballin' Like Stalin. Tyler Beach. Belovsky. Clovin. Militime. Pizza. Maxi G. Swiss Argo. Elijah Senpai. And LVC.